Hello again, beautiful people. This is Natalie Silva with Life Treasures and Golden Moments, sharing with you true stories of miracles and stories of inspiration. Today I'd like to share a story with you about positive things. This is a story called Cancel the Pity Party. And as Abraham Lincoln once said, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life that's in your years. Today's story has been authored by Patricia Lorenz. I wasn't looking forward to my 57th birthday. The feelings I felt when I turned the milestone birthdays of 30, 40, and 50 was nothing compared to the dread of the 57th. 23 years ago earlier, my, my mom had died at age 57 of ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. The shock of reaching that same age as my mother when she died hit me with the force of a locomotive crashing into my psyche. I could hardly believe my mother was only 57 when she died. I wondered how many more years I had. As a single parent, my four children had been out on their own for years, living in California and Arizona, and two of them 80 and 100 miles away from my home in Wisconsin. I'd broken up with my last boyfriend ten years earlier, so there was no man around to orchestrate my birthday. I did spend the first half of the day with my daughter, Julia, and her three youngsters who had driven a hundred miles from their home in Dane, Wisconsin. This normally would have redeemed the day, but Julia was in the middle of an exhausting divorce, and it took a four-hour nap after lunch. Stress and tension seemed to ooze out of her pores. By the time they left, I was too exhausted. I was just so exhausted. Alone again, I walked into my house and began a grand pity party. Did I do anything constructive or fun to pull myself out of this doldrums I was in? Of course not. The pity party rules demand that you make yourself as miserable as possible. No presents, no cake. The cards from my relatives and friends had all come in the mail a couple of days earlier. My oldest daughter in California hadn't called. As in the previous year, she thought my birthday was on the 14th instead of the 12th. My pity party continued to complete with tears and a bit of anger. I simply wished that those 24 hours would end quickly. I even started talking aloud to God. Okay, God. I'm a nice, happy, fun, pleasant person. I have lots of friends, great kids, wonderful relatives. Some of them must remember that this is my birthday. So why am I alone tonight? I do stuff for other people on their birthdays. Is there something you want me to learn from this dismal experience? Hmm. In a last-ditch effort to find something productive to do that evening, I gathered the trash and took it out to the garage. On my way back into the house, I spotted my old bicycle in the corner. My boyfriend had given it to me for Christmas 12 years earlier. I never really liked that bike. It didn't fit me right, and the gears slipped like crazy in spite of a tune-up. I kicked back the tire and said, You're absolutely as worthless as I feel. I wish I had a new bike. That's it, I practically shouted. I'm going to buy myself a birthday present. A new bicycle. I'm going shopping for it Monday morning. I'd wanted a new bike for three years, but when a single mom is in her 60th year of having kids in college without a break, one does not consider extravagant purchases for oneself. But my black mood pushed me over the edge of self-indulgence. Having made the decision, I practically skipped into the house, feeling 30 years younger and filled with the anticipation of a brand new bicycle. I was a kid again, dreaming of a sleek new lightweight bike with shock absorbers and a comfortable seat. That night before bedtime, I was paging through the book of Psalms, trying to find a good definition of happiness. I found it in Psalm 144, 12, 15. Daughters of graceful beauty, like the pillars of a palace, well, barns full to the brim with crops of every kind, sleep by thousands out in our fields, oxen loaded down with produce, 
No enemy attaching the walls, but peace everywhere. No crime in our streets. Yes, happy are those who God is Jehovah. The verse described my sons, my daughters, and my life perfectly. I was healthy, had plenty to eat, no enemies attacking my walls, no crime in my streets, and I had a wonderful friend of the Lord. This birthday was just another day, most definitely all was right in my world. Monday morning dawned, and my new bicycle excitement hadn't waned a bit. I drove to the bike shop and rode a sleek silver and white, lightweight aluminum frame beauty around the store. I felt as excited as I was at Age seven, when I got my first bike 50 years earlier. This dream bike was even on sale because it was the fall season. I pulled out my checkbook and paid in full. Since then, whenever I feel a little pity party coming on, I hop on my 21-speed beauty with the shock absorbers and a spring-loaded seat for extra comfort and head for the 49-mile lawn bike trail. That is just two miles from my new home in Florida. An hour later, with another 10 or 12 miles under my belt, my sunny disposition has returned. I've learned that when you're a big kid, every day can be a birthday celebration, especially when you have a good bicycle with a nice soft seat waiting to take you away. Yes, sir, my beautiful people out there, That's something I'm always telling my friends, too. Never lose your childlike spirit, because it makes life worthwhile. Until next time, this is Natalie Silver with Life Treasures and Golden Moments, wishing each of you a beautiful week. Take care now, and may God bless.